this is terrible. Ah, it's very light. <laughs> Girl, I was so annoyed. Mm. I could stop here, but why would I do that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's going on with this look today? Lord have mercy. Girl, Kosas has given us a tinted gel cream and we gotta talk about that. It's called the Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream and I have three shades that were sent to me. I don't know if these are gonna match me, but let's get into it. Now, what I will say from the site is we have six shades for dark skin. That's not enough. This is a light coverage makeup, which I'm not thrilled about because I like full coverage. I can do medium, I need full. Light is like, ugh. Okay, we're giving natural finish here it's a tinted gel cream it's a fresh take on a tinted moisturizer it's $38 and it's hydrating and we're gonna try it out okay this is shade 43 which is deep neutral olive <laughs> That's a joke clearly not me oh my god I don't think any of these are gonna match me we have 40 okay no but there's a pinkness to it we've got 44 which is a rich deep neutral olive no i'm not olive i'm cool maybe warm but i'm not olive oh my gosh okay this might <laughs> so these are the darkest shades the undertones are horrendous this is the darkest one rich deep neutral wow if this ain't it then we are done we crap no do you see that if i put this on i would look gray absolutely not oh this is terrible 43 44 45 this is so terrible if i put that on i'd be gray let's use a different foundation because that was obviously not gonna work this is the armani luminous silk perfect glow foundation now i don't i know that i've used armani luminous silk before this is the shade 15 which is the darkest one it's very deep neutral i cannot remember which formula it was that i tried in the past but this looks like it'll match me so let's go ahead and throw this on hold on <laughs> that's very red <laughs> it's gonna match though i'm sure you're like what's the problem it's not that big of a problem my foundations really do range from how neutral how cool how warm i'd be making a lot of different colors work you feel me we can make this work so this retails for 69 dollars. it is a medium coverage natural finish liquid foundation medium coverage look at my eyebrows i can still see my brows oh yeah this is what i don't like <laughs> So in this case, this is where I will choose a concealer that is not going to be orange, more so on the yellow side to balance what I'm seeing is too much red. And then my contour, I'm going to contour. I would not bronze with this because bronze gives redness to the face. I would not do that with this foundation because I already look red. You might even think I look orange. Good Lord. Okay. Look at my chin. You can still see the blemishes. Can we build this up? Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Now, you might enjoy this. If you don't have blemishes, you might enjoy this and it may look like full coverage on you, maybe. No, I can still see my nose. It wouldn't look like full coverage. I mean, this is nice if you want a natural glow, medium finish, as they've stated, if you can find your shade. I mean, this feels good. I like the finish. I'm just clearly not a fan of the undertone, but the skin looks good. The skin looks really good. Right, I'm gonna take the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation in the shade Espresso. This stuff is... So good, I love this foundation. It is gonna be darker, different undertone. You see this is neutral. I need it to cover the end of my brow. So the undertone is different, but we're gonna make it all work and it's not even gonna be that obvious. Okay, we neutralized that. Armani did send the accompanying concealer. This is the shade 10. Let's see what this is gonna look like on top of this foundation shade. I mean, I think it'll look good. Ah, it's very light. <laughs> Whoa, crap. Jeez, this feels really thick. Okay, you could be thinking, why are you still applying it? Well, I already did, so we gotta just continue. You gotta continue, you feel me? I already soaked my beauty blender, but let's squeeze out all the excess water on a paper towel and then let's blend. This is some thick concealer. Wow, I feel like I've used Armani concealer in the past, but I don't remember it being this thick. Good Lord, this is light. <laughs> it is balancing things out nicely, blending very nicely. Okay, it looks good. It is lighter than I normally would go with. Because of the undertone of this foundation, it actually is coming together nicely, in my opinion. What do you think? Comment and let me know. We gotta balance out the forehead too in the T-zone, so let's do that. This is a thick concealer. Not a lot comes out on the tube either look at that when you pull it out not a lot comes out what in the world okay let me go here to get some off and then go down this is light so i'm not taking too much enough to uh, lighten up my face a little bit because when it's really light it can look a little gray yo this joint is thick and it dries fast what's going on look i made a mess <laughs> Woo! 
We're gonna blend this wildly because we want it to disperse because I'm gonna bring the shadow back in a sec. This is the highlight and we're gonna contour. That's why the highlight and the contour really do work in tandem because if you highlight as much as I do, you need a contour or you are gonna be looking sick. Now, if you do a subtle highlight, then you ain't gonna need a contour in my opinion. It will just be a bonus if you want to. Oh, Faithful Contour, of course, L-Y-S. Worthy stick bronzer, love this. Look how dark this is. <laughs> this is about to transform the face, watch. These brushes you're seeing are from Yensa, the makeup brand whose foundation I tried out in a different video. I don't know the name of this brush, it's just one of their brushes. And it fits right here into this crevice really, really well. I do have a video coming to you for 2024, which is a brush set from Amazon that you can use to do your whole entire face. Get this into your hairline, baby. Get your contour into your hairline so it can all blend nicely, hi. And we're gonna blend that line of demarcation in a bit, okay? I've already filled in my hairline with my Color Wow product. I'll link everything below, by the way, in the description box. So this should blend into it. I'm gonna fix this because I went too low. Of course, you know, we have to contour the nose, all right? Using this slanted brush to go right down the sides of my nose and then give it a little point. I don't think I have enough product on here left over. So the same brush that I use to blend out my contour is what I'll use right here because I need this whole place to look a little dark. It's not that dark right now, but you know, this is just leftover product, okay? Just to cap it off, like an end cap on a shelf CVS, uh-huh, we just gonna cap it off. I'm cleaning my makeup brushes in between with Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner, which I love, and it gets everything wicked clean real fast. It's fast drying, so good. Links to everything are below. But of the beauty sponge, which is clean, right here in between this line of demarcation, we're going to blend so that there's no harsh line, okay? I think my skin looks really good with this, this foundation and concealer, I have to say. This is the Givenchy powder, the quad. This is number five. Once you get all of it into the cap and then cold it over. Essentially, you have four different powders mixed into one and then you can blot right inside of this or use the inside of the cap, which is what I like to use because I don't wanna use too much powder right off the rip, all right? So with my Sephora 79 brush, I'm gonna take some product from inside the cap. It's all mixed, it's all fine. And then tap off the excess on the back of the hand if you feel like you got too much. And I'm just gonna go over, now I'm gonna take some from the actual inside of the product, tap off the excess in the cap because we don't need a whole bunch on our face. Back of the hand as another tap off the excess session and then we are setting where we have highlighted. I started here, usually I will start under my eyes but I'm not gonna do the matte under eye. You know I love my glowy under eye but I started here. Now to set where I actually crease, we're gonna press this in to make sure that there's no creasing. Keep your eyes looking like this cause that's important, okay? Get some of the product, tap off the excess and go right here where the creasing is. That's again because I want my under eye to be luminous but if if you want your under eye to be matte, then take this powder or any loose setting powder and then put it all over your under eye area. But again, that's not what I wanna do. I just wanna set right here because having this right here luminous isn't gonna help me. I wanna do my best not to let the creasing show. It's gonna show it's natural, but hello, all of this is so that we can do our best to make our face look nice, okay? So that's that first step. And then with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Halo Setting Powder, this is the medium shade. I go and set under the eye. And this is going to set at a smidge of color. I mean, not so much, but give it a luminosity. So do you see that? It looks like there's a highlighter under my eye while also setting it, taking away the shine, okay? And helping it stay in place. I could have used this all over the under eye, but I wanted to tackle that immediate area with something different. And you can do that when you have a lot of different options, you feel me? But if you don't, be more simple, just use one powder. Ooh, the face looks so good already. You see how it was looking real ridiculous in the beginning, but we did our highlight and our contour. It took away all of that red foolishness in the beginning and you might be thinking, well, then maybe you should keep the shade. I could, but why wrestle with a shade that I don't like off rip when I can just work with the ones that I like off rip? You feel me? If I don't have to struggle, why would I want myself to do that? Now we're gonna add more contour to the face. You might be thinking that I don't need to, but I like to go to extra mile. So we're gonna go to extra mile with the e.l.f. Cosmetics powder foundation. This is the shade Rich 660N. Now lightly, cause I don't necessarily need more color. I just want to add more because I feel like it. <laughs> good, okay? Cause it looks good. It brings the whole face together. Left over under my chin here, right? Not taking more product. Although I could, it's just left over on my chin. I don't bring my foundation down to my neck. So this is an aspect that I love to do so that my chin area don't look so crazy. And I can see a little bit of that contour shadow because I have left over product here on my brushy brush. It's coming together. Okay, Sephora so brow pencil, this is the shade Granite. Now I know y'all don't like it when we skip our brows. Let me go ahead and keep the brows in so you don't have to 
to yell at me, okay? We're gonna do our upward strokes here. One, 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 six, six, six. Okay, if you're Ghanaian, you understand that reference. And we're making what would look like hairline strokes. It's makeup. So you could say, oh no, it looks like whatever. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do this the correct way. And this is the way that I like to do it. And it just looks good this way. So hairline strokes, up, up, up. I no longer carve the top of my brow. However, I'll see a lot of people, even makeup artists on social do that. I remember being a makeup artist at MAC and I had to stop doing that or else I wouldn't be hired. So once I had to get that out of my system and learn how to do my face, without carving and then other people's face without carving. I just stopped and that was over 10 years ago. I'm using the Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Obsessions Palette to deepen my crease with this reddish brown color because it just makes the whole look come together. And then I took the same shade underneath my eye because again, you gotta just tie the whole thing in. I'm gonna use the Huda Pretty Grunge Palette also, but because these are all cool tone shades and we obviously have shimmers in here and then there's this grunge shade. It's a black gel formula. We gotta build the crease up, all right? There's no brown in this palette. So from this Chocolate Obsessions, again, I need to deepen up the crease with a brown because I'm, what I'm not gonna do is go straight into the crease with a black. Never, ever, ever. You wanna build that up, okay, baby? So go ahead and build this up. This brush right here from Amicola is so good. The Color Blend brush, so good. And let's be sure to stamp this right at the front of the brow. Oh, it makes such a difference. And lightly, just feather. Oh, I'll go back to that because now I have way too much product on the brush. You wanna lightly feather into where your brow bone highlight is. So a mixture of padding, lightly feathering. We're gonna stack it up right here in the front. It makes it look so dramatic. Just look at that. All right, the reddish brown has disappeared. So let me get another brush and lightly put that back. Cause I do want there to be a nice gradient, okay? So lightly, lightly. You don't wanna disrupt what I've already done. Lightly. I'm itching for a cut crease. It's been so long. Let's use this Juvia's Pre <laughs> Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Wow, so many tongues to tie. That's yes, yeah. Some of the product right here in the back of the hand. My hand is so ashy because of cleaning it so much. All right, that's how you know you're really doing artistry, okay? This is a 445 brush. Nice and pointy and flat. Take some of the product. A little of this goes such a long way. Man, I have not done a cut crease in so long. Is this gonna go well or what? Now I don't need to bring this cut crease all the way over to the end. The black will go over here and then blend into all of this nicely. The key with the cut crease, remember when I used to do this back in the day? The key is your crease color needs to be down first and then it has to be very dark from your lid color in order for it to show. I remember I could not understand how to do a cut crease for the life of me. And then I figured it out. The crease, which is that brown that I did, has to be a lot darker than the lid. The lid color is what I'm doing right now. I'm putting a primer onto my lid. Once you do that, you have a sharp cut crease. And of course you have to draw it like this, right? It has to be a harsh line as you can see. And that's why going down with a liquid first will give you that harsh line. Can you do a cut crease without using a liquid? Uh, it ain't gonna be a cut crease. It's gonna look like an old school, just lid and crease color, which is, a, is not a problem. You feel me? That's a classic way to do eyeshadow. Getting them even is such a headache. Ooh, Lord, I just messed that up. See that right here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. You can't be talking. Look at me trying to talk to you. Mm -mm. And like I said, I'm stopping three quarters of the way in. Okay, keep these eyes open like this. You feel me? Cause what? And then while it's still a little wet, you feel what I'm saying? We gonna go ahead and put the color down. We're gonna do a taupe cut crease with this shade right here. It's called Rise Up. It matches this primer that I just put down, really. So we're gonna pat it in. These shadows are so buttery. Have you ever tried out a cut crease? Comment and let me know. You're probably like, what? I would never. <laughs> it is nerve wracking, I tell you. When I first started doing this, girl, I was so annoyed. Mm. But you do want to pat this matte shadow or your shimmer, whatever shadow you're using, you want to pat this on while the primer is still wet so that it can just stick. And if you're not gonna use an eyeshadow primer, feel free to use a concealer. Pat it on while the concealer is still wet. You're not gonna wanna use a fast drying concealer to do this, unless you're gonna work quickly. But a cut crease takes so much focus. 
I can't do this quickly. I think it ended up coming out good. <laughs> it looks equal to me, let me know. I'm patting myself on the back, okay? It has been ages, maybe a year since I've done a cut crease, so. I'm excited. We got some light purples over here in this corner. I'm thinking of building up this to this. So let's see, the first one is Brave. Is it gonna show? Let's see, okay. Subtle, that's pretty. Brave right here. We're doing a gradient, you feel me? So first it was that taupey color, and then now we got Brave, which is a muted, cool toned purple right in this area. Oh, this looks so pretty. And this is dry going on dry. So the eyeshadow, which is that taupe color, is already matte. And then this matte color is going on top, which is cool. And then we are gonna go in with that darker color, which is Fearless, but that might not be dark enough. Well, we're gonna do a gradient. Okay, let's just see what Fearless looks like right back here. We want there to be a graduation into the darker color, which is gonna go at the very end. And I'll take a smaller brush to do that. I really could stop right here though. I really could stop right here. But because I like to really go in and just build it up, we're gonna just go, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna use that jelly color, grunge, as a liner. Ooh, a greasy looking liner. It'll be a glossy liner. Let me stop. The way I would describe stuff sometimes, you would think I'm talking about trash, but I'm not. This looks good. I could stop here, but why would I do that? Let's get a smaller brush that we can have more control over. MAC 217 brush. And, ooh, ah, when you go in with black, you gotta go eat. I dipped my brush in one time to the black shade and look. Black, this is the shade Renegade. You got to be serious when you do black. Hold on, let's go soft. Cause it can go so left so fast and then you just feel so ridiculous and then your whole look is messed up. Look, I'm lightly putting this down. I'm barely touching my face. The black is very pigmented, we love that. And don't forget our face is done, good Lord. I think, what? <gasps> Ah, oh, I forgot to look down. The black fell on my face. Bless the name of the Lord. It fell right here. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, look, we just doing a little teeny bit of black and now we're blending. This is pigmented. Look at that. Oh, whoa, whoa. When you're, when you're dealing with black, you gotta build it up, okay? Dang, yo. We've already built this up. I think this looks good. I could bring the black in here, but the brown gave me the, look, there's still some leftover on this brush. It's building up, shocker. It's actually building up. Yeah, look at that, you can see? It built up right there and that, that wasn't too intentional. It's just what's left over on the brush. This black is moving. It is moving. This eye looks good. It don't match my dress. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, I'm feathering it out now because it needs to all match. Dang it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. If I recall correctly, what you do, I need to find a big brush-ish, big-ish brush. Let's see. I cleaned the one that I was using for my under eye, all right? So it's clean. I'm just double checking because I use the fast drying Cinema Secrets blood, blah, 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 whatever, that product, okay? I'm gonna take some of this powder Wow, there's so much. Some of these Givenchy loose powder, back of the actual container just to get out the excess. Dang it, cause powder gets off powder. Breathe with me, breathe with me. We're gonna just flick it away. But it's gonna take away my, my shimmer. But I have to get this off. Crap, okay. One time, we're not gonna go do, 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 no. Because then we're blending, okay? One time, get it off and clean the brush. <sighs> clean the brush off. Okay, now let me look up close and see what I just did. I'm gonna have to go over it. Okay, it came off. I can see a little bit of black, but it's nothing to write home about. The world has not come. I haven't even done face powder. <laughs> I never did my face powder. You didn't even say anything. Not me having powder in my hair. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this look today? Lord have mercy. I never put my face powder on. That means I really felt confident in how my face looked. Oh my goodness. Patrick Stodd, dot 4 g hello. This just really brings everything together in a nice way. Clearly not even necessary, but I'm still gonna do it because that's just what I do. What? Okay, okay. Girl, the cut crease messed me up. If I, if when I start doing something different, that's when I forget my routine. It just, the routine be doing different things. You feel me? This is a Sephora 22 brush. Let's take this shade Grunge and we gonna line our eyes. This is a thin brush. We gotta do a lot of strokes. I was gonna take my flat liner brush from MAC, but it's thick. I really wanna have control of this because I've never used it. This brush gives you a sharp line. What? If you like a sharp line, this 
brush is fantastic. Wow, this is a wet liner. Now, does it dry? I don't know. Oh my God, I have to do a wing liner. I have to, unless I'm gonna smudge. Ooh, it was too late, crap. I haven't done a wing in so long. Oh my God. Why am I doing all the things that I don't do right now? <laughs> I like how this looks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I still need to do the waterline, okay? Let's get this other side. And I'm starting in the middle here and then going outward and then I'll come in because the more you add, your line will be mad thick and that's not what you intended in the very beginning. You feel me? Oh my God, see? Oh crap, I already made a mistake and then it's, ah! <laughs> I'm so pissed. Honey, let me stop while I'm ahead because enough is enough. I think this looks good. Too Faced got a new mascara. It's the Better Than the Sex. It's called Naturally. And I'm trying to remember now, what does that mean? Let's try it out. Because what you mean naturally? What you doing naturally? Because I like my lashes to be thick and full and ju Oh, hell no. Okay. <laughs> now I see what they mean. This is very natural. Do you even see anything? If you like your lashes to be natural, this is all you. This is not me. This is the Estee Lauder Turbo Lash Mascara. This stuff is good, okay? This stuff is good. Even though I'm putting on lashes, you gotta put on mascara if you do your makeup like I do. All right, I'm putting on my old faithful lashes. Let's spread these wide open. And then I place them more toward the inner part. Oh, the glue's not ready. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, let's get the tweezers because my nails are so long. And let's place this down before it starts acting up. I didn't let it get tacky enough. Wow, what kind of day is this? What's that day when the tables are turned? What is going on? Oh God, this lash glue is not ready. <laughs> Ooh, but this look looks so good though. You see the cut crease peeking through? What? I gotta cut my crease more often, dang. We're gonna blow on this one, although blowing still makes me feel so uncomfortable because as a makeup artist, you could not be caught dead blowing on a client's lashes, honey. So I made sure to get rid of the habit so that I didn't accidentally, ugh, do it. I want this, what's going on with me today? I wonder if it's not sticking to this gel liner. Yeah, I had to get rid of the habit so that I didn't accidentally do it to a client. Oh my God, I'm using the same glue as usual. Why is it not staying? Crap, oh crap. Okay, this glue is dry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the glue is dry. <laughs> Yo, not my one lash looking crooked. What kind of day is this? How's your day going, by the way? If you're laughing, if you're entertained, comment, let me know. Using this Revlon Half Lash Curler to really, you feel me, press my lash and the lash together. That's what helps it to look like it's all one and not two different lashes on, you feel me? And my lashes are not meant to look natural. I don't do natural, okay? I do dramatic, oh yes. See, look, I took the Estee Lauder mascara and put it underneath my eyes and you cannot tell me that those lashes don't look stupendous. I have to keep my eyes up because they need to dry. They look so good. I love my eyes to be bold and flirty, okay? Now, one thing we're missing is what? Come and let me know if you're paying attention. If you've been here for a while or you just know what you're doing, if you know what you're doing, then you know what we're missing right now. And we're missing an inner eye highlight. Now, it's a cut crease. The look is so bold already that I could leave it. But if you know me, you know I don't like that. I need to... Kick it up a notch, you feel me? I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called Stand Up. I really was supposed to do this before the lashes, but I forgot. Oh crap, I gotta look down. Fall out. <laughs> Again, another reason why I should have done this first, okay? Mm-hmm, okay. It's already there, and now I'm gonna wipe off my brush and just blend. Oh, this looks so pretty. Ooh. Okay, so the cut, ooh. The cut crease got messed up in the front. I liked how the line was so sharp and I already cleaned that brush. It, see how this is a line right here? This line has now disappeared a little. You might be thinking, what's the big deal? We can just leave it. And now we gotta do blush, honey. This is the Juvia's Place blush that went viral. This is Barbie Rose. No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I almost messed up. I used pink already in a different video. Let's not do pink. What I'm gonna do is the shade Coral Rose. This went viral. I learned in a different video that a little goes a long way, okay? Ooh, look at it, how is it? Wait, how does that happen? The magnetic force? 
going back into the tube? How does that, ha how do y'all be doing that? That's crazy, what? I've seen this happen before too in a lip gloss that look just like this component. I can't do it. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge to apply it. So I had to spread it around a little bit, but this is actually a lot of product, okay? So butter of the beauty sponge, but here, I'm just, see, I need to diffuse this even before it goes on my cheeks. And circular motions, the orange is not going to stand out so quickly on me because now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yo, I went in with so much, I was so skilled. Orange is such a beautiful undertone for me. Look how natural it looks. I can't even see it. Can you see it? I can barely even see this. Uh, I'm gonna need some more. The pink was boom. I mean, I was, I was scared, okay? <laughs> in the best way though, it was made for us. So we know how to work with it, you feel me? We know what, I, what we're doing. Let me take some more, because I do want this to show. Taking some in the back of the beauty sponge, blotting off the excess, and then applying it to my face, okay? I always wanna blot off the excess. I'm seeing it more and more. It looks so gorge. I'm going to go and blend this in with my contour in a smidge. I like this. So taking some, blotting off, and then applying it here. This is a nice orange. You know, it's a muted orange, and I can tell that even from the component. It's not orange like my dress. I mean, it's a muted orange, which to me, tells me that it was well thought out. They weren't trying to give us the color of an orange crayon. I like it. I think this looks gorgeous. So the brush that has product left on it, which was from my contour, is what I'm using to bring all of this back together. Cause I don't like for my blush to take over my contour. I still like to see my contour. Now I feel like it has a lot of the blush on it. So that's why I wiped it off. And now I'm gonna take some of the contour product. Just one dab will do, cause this is very dark. And then we're going, staying closer to the hairline cause that's where the contour should be. I don't need this to come down here. However, to tie it all in, I will go like this. But now at this point, I'm using left over. I'm not actually putting the brown so much right here. So I'm muting it down a little bit, but really I'm just trying to blend it. I'm just trying to make it more seamless. You feel me? I don't like my blush to be just blush. I like it to be blush slash contour. Okay, that's how I like for my makeup to look, baby. Now I feel like I took away my highlight. Good Lord, everything's being taken away. Do you see my, good Lord. My highlight is missing. Mm. Okay, all right, let's add our highlight again. This is a Rare Beauty Luminizer in the shade Flaunt. Just something to reintroduce the nose highlight. I always do something like this. It can be a cream product or this one right here, which is a, a what? This is a, what is this? Baked, this is a baked, baked highlight. And what's nice is right here in this T-zone is where I get oily anyway. So once it does, it's going to help the highlight to absorb a lot better and look real glowy and natural and just delicious, you know? Let's do Juvia's Place lip liner and this is the shade Cola. Nice brown, sticking with this brown theme. I wanna use this Juvia's Place gloss, but I'm worried that it's not gonna have as much pigment. Because my lips are dark, I like for the pigment to be high when I put on any lippy product. This is the shade Pink Velvet. I will say, I've used one of these, the clear one, and it takes ages to twist up, okay? But here we have it. Let's see what it looks like on my skin, first of all. It's so creamy that it gets so messy. I'm not a huge fan of tea, yeah. It's, it's gonna be sheer. Oh, heck no, okay, no. I need to put a lippy on first and then put this on top. Yeah, it's not gonna give me as much color as I want. This is an LIS lipstick and the shade is Dreamer. It is a cool beige type color. <laughs> Yo, this is one of those colors where you put on and you feel like it's a cruel joke. It's giving Dave Chappelle, you feel me? We're gonna bring it together. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna bring it together. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a second. <laughs> and if you felt really terrible about it, you could add more of the lip pencil to bring the highlight closer into the middle. The less amount of the highlight color, which is this lipstick, the less harsh it looks. Okay, so we're bringing this brown in more so that it's not so harsh. That's what I'm talking about. You see? I think it looks flattering right now. See? That's why I kept the color. When I first tried it, I was like, what? But I've been here before. I'm not gonna put this on because I wanna keep this light taupe matching color going on because this is going to make it more pink. Okay, we're not gonna use this one today. I, I don't like how messy these are though. I will say, what's going on with this? I like how this look turned out. I could give my face a spray to add some more glow but I'm liking how it looks naturally. We've now finished the video. I will leave two other options for you to choose from. Make sure you comment below and let me know how much you enjoy this look. Shop my links below if you'd like. It doesn't cost you anything. It just gives me a small commission. I'll see you on all of my socials. Make sure you're following and thanks for watching. Bye.